what's going on guys and as we go in a new direction i want to share some stuff with you guys that i used to do that may help you how to sell things before you buy them and this is something i did a lot of i did it on my own website i did it on ebay and i did it on craigslist so what you're going to need is your business license you need a business license you're going to need your llc your ein all that other stuff but you're going to need a business license and a resale certificate to sign up with companies now if you're in atlanta or you're in a city that has a lot of distribution warehouses this is a good opportunity for you to find products that you can sell. Now, I used to be set up where I had access to Poundex, I had access to Coaster, and I have access to Titan Importers, and a few other furniture warehouse, furniture wholesalers. So let me see, let me go to here. And you know, it's, it's been a long time since I sold furniture, but I would find something that was hot. I would go to their website and find something that was hot. And I would go, that might be hot. I don't know, I don't know. I would actually, like this right here, I know for a fact it's hot because I've seen it in a lot of YouTube videos. A lot of girls have this in their bedroom. This is hot. Um, don't know how much this cost, but what I would do is I would go to the warehouse and I would buy one and I would take my own pictures and I would advertise it on Craigslist, eBay, wherever. And I wouldn't go out and buy any more until I sell them. Cause this is one of the things that I used to do. I would like go get it, one of them, take my own pictures, put it on a website. And once I had someone buy it, now this is where I got caught short a few times because let's see, um, God, what is the name of this watch brand? in Victor Lupa. All right. When these came out, good Lord, that has gone up. Wow. When these came out, you couldn't, there was only like a few, like this is the one that I used to sell quite a bit. Um, I would go to the Atlanta Paramart and there was a guy in there that used to stock these and he would stock a lot of them. So I would just go down there and he would allow me to take pictures of them and I would sell them on eBay. And once I had someone buy one and typically I would list them on Sundays, I would list them on Sundays and I have them where the listing would go off on Sunday, right? So Monday, I would go to the Atlanta Apparel Mart. Atlanta Apparel. America's Mart. So I would roll up in here and I think he was like here. I think he was here. And I would sell the Invicta Lupa. They were selling for typically you could get about 250 and my wholesale cost was 138, but I didn't care because I had my profit before I even, cause I wasn't stocking the watches. And I actually started getting a better deal from a guy in Florida. But I used to sell these, all types of furniture. Uh, let me go to, and th this is something else that I used to sell. Let 
they've really had some they've upgraded their furniture let me go to coaster let's see where it is it where is it aha uh used to sell aha here it is they've changed it it was theater seating and i used to sell this on craigslist and i used to sell it on ebay and essentially shipping these wasn't really that because they came in three big boxes depending on ah here we go here we go used to sell these guys and these really did well on craigslist actually they really did well on ebay i feel that my cost was 500 for a group of four and i was selling them for 1250 with shipping and they cost me about 200 bucks to ship so i netted out at a nice 500 dollar profit because these things were really really popular at one point and they were costing um 500 and people were selling them for 1500 to 2000 dollars but essentially i would sell the advertise these and i would not go pick them up now here is where this thing can kind of bite you in the butt <laughs> you sell something and then you go to the warehouse because essentially there's a reason that i was signed up with pound x uh coaster titan importers all three of them at some point will carry similar stuff let me see does titan have the home theaters because essentially i would find items that were popular that i can get from three places and typically i never had an issue with the watches because the guy kept he he was he was stocked for bear i mean dude literally kept maybe 500 600 watches in stock at all times so i never had a problem with the watches and this really really sold well this this is called the invicta lupa um what are they selling this thing for today all right come on baby it's supposed to be amazon it's not loading quickly let's see um still loading let's go back to ebay all right so let's see what they're selling for now and this was years and years ago because i have a feeling that the price isn't going to be uh, let's see whoa oh, pre-owned I was like $26 uh, this will used to be a good seller man these prices have come way down way down um man 69 good lord and i used to sell them in this yellow box with the little yellow pillow wow the cost of these things has crashed I wonder what the wholesale value on these things are now. Uh, I used to get 250 for these things all day long. 250. So essentially what you want to do if you're in the area, you know, you got to go to your website and you want to look for things because essentially when you sign up for these accounts, you're going to need a resale certificate because they're going to ask you for that. And typically, um, they're not going to uh, many cases they're not going to allow you to sign up for this online 
you're going to have because essentially I remember when I signed up with Coaster and they're all Fulton Industrial. I had to go in there. I had to have my resale certificate. I had to show my business license and I showed them the lease to my warehouse. Other than that, because essentially they asked for that. So essentially you can get creative and create your own lease for a commercial space because many of them are going to demand that you be in a commercial space before they open up. Well, this is years ago. I don't know because I think people are more comfortable with people selling online. But essentially what you need to do, you need to do some research. You need to figure out what is selling and what can you get and then start marketing it and, and putting it out there. Because let's see, let me go to Craigslist. Let's see if anyone's still doing this. Um, hundred dollars. Okay, someone's still doing it. Wow, the this bedroom set must be super cheap. Um, you see, you'll see that 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 must. Wait a minute. That's a Louis. That's a Louis Philippe sleigh bed, but it's gray. Uh, includes bed, nightstand, dresser, mirror. It doesn't include. It only includes one nightstand. Doesn't include the chest of drawers. So they're probably getting this for three fifty ish. And they're selling it for six eighty nine, so they're making three hundred and thirty dollars profit. <clears throat> All righty. Eh. That's okay. Um. People are still doing this on Craigslist. Once again, this is another person who's doing what I used to do. But I don't think anyone is selling that bed. But the price, let's see what the price of that is right now. Louis Philippi Sleigh Bed Queen. Oh man. Oh man. The price of this thing has dropped. I used to sell this ah Acme furniture. I used to um this is a cheap one. I can tell it's cheap because this is thin. The ones I used to like to sell had thicker leg post, but you know, I would throw one in. I used to sell this for 650 all day long. So now it is 481 almost a $200 price drop on that. Let's see. Oh. This is the same set. So that's a, like a $100 price drop. I mean, it, it's kind of interesting. Now, this one is a little bit more ornate. I had one that was very uh, robust that I used to sell for a thousand. But essentially, what you have to do is set yourself up where you can get the access to these things. Get one, take a picture. Ah, this is the one I used to sell for a thousand. And essentially, this is a way for you to sell these products make a lot of money because at one point I was doing about 15 K a month just off the beds alone. So my profit was about 15 K a month. And one of the reasons I got into this is sometimes you would be selling stuff, uh, the storage units, like there would be these periods where like sometimes it'd be four, five, six, seven weeks where it just wouldn't be anything to buy. Just, just, they would happen. And then this is when I would go into selling new furniture, hustling. 
uh, buying out garage sales and stuff like that because I needed inventory. And this is one of the reasons that I didn't get this 20,000 square foot storefront because I knew that stocking the floor was going to be a consistent issue unless I wanted to sell a lot of clothing, you know. But yeah, this is, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not like drop shipping because drop shipping, you know, they order it on your website and then you, you're the person that you have, you buy it from also ships it to your customer. Essentially, you get the order and you pick it up and you handle delivery. And this is a way, like if you're in a city like Atlanta or someplace in California or New York or Texas that, you know, you, once again, you got to do your research. You got to figure out what's available in your area. What can you just like literally I used to be able to drive to Pound X, drive to Coaster, drive to Titan Importers. Um, Titan Importers actually moved and now they're they're in. The, this is where they were when I was buying from them and it looks like they're still in the same location. They have this whole building and it is full of furniture. I will tell you a little story. I sold a bedroom set on eBay and th this is one of the most irritating things is people would love to get stuff that was going out of stock. Cause I sold this bedroom set that was discontinued and the bed rails got damaged and everything else was good. It was such a pain in the booty. It, it, it really, really was it. And I found this on my own website, which was glendoncameron.com and i would get people who would love the stuff that was going out of stock discontinued they would buy it and i would have to refund their money so i got caught like that i got caught short a few times never with the watches the watches was a good deal if you can find a store and let's see currently unavailable all right um if you can find, man, these prices have crashed. Man. You know, and I used to like to sport these watches because that's one of the things. Because I used to be a really watch guy before I got this Apple Watch. Once I got this Apple Watch, I, I literally sold all my other watches. Because I like the, the feedback of the Apple Watch. But I got rid of all of these stuff. But essentially... If you can find the distributor that you can drive to, because if they have to ship it to you and it gets a little complicated because let's say, and also you need to have what's called a minimum order. Um, with the apparel mart, I can go down there and literally buy one watch from this guy. If I needed it, some people have a minimum order where you would have to buy five or maybe 10 watches. So that could get a little interesting, but Essentially, with Pound X, if I needed one bed, I can buy one bed. With Coaster, if I needed one bed, I can buy it. And Titan, if I needed one bed, I can buy it. So they did not have. Um... Now, what I did do once I got rolling is I would buy six and ten beds because typically it would take me about a week to turn over ten beds. So I would buy 10 beds knowing that I would not be holding them that long once I really, really got rolling. Because in the beginning, I would used to go down there and get one bed. <laughs> I get two beds. I get three beds. And, you know, essentially, they typically, because all this stuff was coming from China. And sometimes there would be like these periods where none of them would have anything, which was very, very frustrating. For like five weeks, they just wouldn't have stuff. So... Once again, it is up to you to do your research to find the distributor. Once again, you're going to need your business license and you're going to need a resale certificate to make this work to do these things that you want to do. But this is a way that you can make money without holding inventory. You got to be quick. You got to be nimble because uh, it gets a little challenging, but typically this is a way where you because essentially you know i've been looking at um a lot of these numbers 
just the, the little bed hustle lasted about two years before um, underpriced furniture, which is now. Let me see. All right. It redirects to this. It used to be underpriced furniture, but now it's the Georgia furniture mark. It's the same location. They just changed the name. I don't know if someone bought them, but they came in and there was called a container buyer. They would buy a container full of all this furniture. And when you become a container buyer, like the bed used to cost me three fifty. If I was, you know, when I bought a container, the price went down to eighty nine dollars for that same bed because I was buying so many of them. But yeah, this was underpriced furniture and they came in and they actually destroyed my little business. So, you know, fortunately, I did not have a lot of money invested in that business. So when the sales dried up, I was able to drop the price, get rid of my remaining inventory and I just exited that business. But this is a hustle that no one on YouTube ever talks about because they've never been in real business because you, you got to have business license you got to have a resale certificate Chris crucial to sign up with these distributors because if you don't have a business license they're going to ask you for this when you sign up and they may ask you for business checks like I remember when I was signing up like I'm going to tell you how I got into uh let's see the apparel mark a company I was working for used to have a showroom in the apparel mart and i went down there with my business card and they were still registered and i just signed up with them as a rep and that's how i got in and then when i had to sign up for my company i had to show them my business license my resale certificate business card business checking account and a business check and a business debit or credit card. I had to show all five of those things just to get in and get access in there. So they're, they're not playing with you. And once again, this was many, many years ago. So I would feel that it hopefully it's gotten easier. But once again, this is a little hustle that you can set up and you can make a lot of money because you can market it, you can advertise it before you have to buy it which means that you don't have that outlay of cash. And I can, this can be from many, many different things. It's just a matter of you going out and figuring out what you can get your hands on and what you can sell. So hopefully this video helped you, gave you some energy, some ideals. And if you wanna become a corporate citizen, we got a goal, 100,000 corporate citizens in the next five years you want to be one of them you go below sign up the price of the corporate of the art of holding is going up end of march so you want to get in you can get in on the payment plan or you can get in for eighteen hundred dollars and once again let me tell you uh, essentially um i should say this because there seems to be some people who are confused you're going to get everything that was in the corporate toolbox but you're not going to get everything that's going on at the b-school for hustlers the people at b-school for hustlers are getting all of the new training and they're getting the youtube training when you sign up for the art of holding you're not getting the youtube training but you're going to get all of the corporate training business stuff you're getting all of that all right so hopefully that is clear i will see you guys in the next one